Yeah, what up, dog, doggy bone? Hey, Cash, I'm gonna get with you in one second, my nigga. Let me talk to my constituents, man. Make sure y'all smash up the uh, make y'all smash the like button. I got a banger for y'all boys, man. I am throwing a Madden 22 tournament this weekend Sunday, bro. It's going to be, I'm not sure if it's going to be regs or a mutt. You all will decide. Um, but the only thing about this tournament, Doggy Bone, is it's not going to be free, man. So you just, so you just going to, you just going to punch my spirit into the goddamn gulag, bro. Because the tournament not going to be free. Yeah, you living in these lavish surroundings. Oh, cheap ass nigga. Damn. Look, man, the tournament ain't going to be free, bro. If we can either do it for the $5, five dollars per person, you know what I'm saying, or we can do it for the $10 per person, it's, it's really up to y'all, man. If we do it for $5 per person, if we get a full 32 then the payout, I'll make the payout $110. But if we do the full 32 at $10 a pop, I'll do it. The winner gets two hundred. I'ma leave that up to y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? It'll be for next gen, uh, Xbox and P5. Y'all, let me know down in the comment section if y'all trying to get into this tourney, cause we finna be lit. We had a tourney last weekend. It was free. I put up the I put up the dough. Um, Ducey gave out gift cards, and my boy CJ, uh. Damn, CJ, CJ Bands, or with Big CJ, I can't remember. He donated 50, and my dog Pocky put another 25. So the winners got a nice little payout on both PS and uh, Xbox. If y'all interested in the tourney, comment down below. Let me know, because I'm going to start building my brackets and taking buy-ins tomorrow. Enjoy the video. Ring the alarm, because you know it's fun. Yeah, you know it's fun. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. Oh, oh, All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. Nah, no, nah. you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Get back in the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a 50. Duh. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Uh -huh. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. yeah. What up, though? It's all up. Back in the community. Giving you what you need for the Madonna, man. So, we got some things to discuss. Um, This was actually ended up being a good gameplay by a dude who was quite upset with me. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one second. Uh, <laughs> He sent me a message soon. I'm going to edit the part where I show the message out. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna edit that part where I show the message out. I, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I got matched up with this dude named Spilleroni Tony. Apparently, he's like a Facebook streamer, and apparently, he's a pro. But we don't care about none of that shit, doggy bone. You gotta get the smoke. But yeah, I'm here because some amazing things have happened on the Madine 23. You feel me? Right here, I went to go look because I knew how I remember this gamer tag because we had played before, and it was a while ago, and it was a hell game. Like I like if you've beaten me or if we had a really good game, I you I remember those tags for whatever reason. But the wheel route, let's start there, man. So we all know wheel route been a pain in everybody ass for the entirety of the year. So when the Madden 23 beta dropped, you were actually able still to throw the wheel. You couldn't lowball it in traffic and all of that, but you could still throw the wheel. And then on the last update they did, they completely changed the wheel route. They can like completely changed it. Um, if y'all, the th if you've seen the thumbnail, the, the wheel route kind of looks like a, a streak from the backfield. Any of you guys have an audible to a streak from your running back? It does the L, goes upfield. That's what the wheel looks like, so if it goes out about five more yards before it cuts up the field. Now, like, that's a W, right? You can still throw a wheel route out of that. It doesn't go out as far towards the purple 
uh, if you have a purple on the field. So you can still throw it. But the thing with it, as he looped me right there, the thing about it is you can't, if you man it up, if you hook curl at five, like you can easily lock that up. So that's a huge, you know what I'm saying? To me, that's a W. That's a big boy W, the fact that, you know what I'm saying? They they say fluff all is ninja. Fluff all is because cause they know us. They know us as a Madden consumer. We will go find a way to implement that wheel route. We were going to do something. Now, um, some they've also uh, done. It's some risk. It did it sometimes, but not all the time. If you try to motion out a wheel route, um, an auto boot wheel route, if you try to motion it out the backfield, it automatically turns into a street. I know some wheels did that last year, but I've like tried to mess with the wheel out of multiple formations. It does that out of every formation. So if you don't have the, if your formation don't come with a stock wheel, the moment you mess it, I mean, uh, motion it out, it turns to a street. So y'all let me know how y'all feeling about the wheels. Because me personally, I feel like they should have left the wheel how it was. You know what I'm saying? Because we, like, as the years going on, <coughs> excuse me, we kind of figured out defense for it. But with the new beta, you couldn't lowball it and you couldn't spam it. But with them completely changing the wheel route, it's kind of a W. But then I'm scared as hell because Madden people as a whole, we is some cheesers. So niggas will find a way to make implement that wheel route or implement something else with that wheel. The hell? Implement something with that wheel route to make it glitchy. That's just what we do, doggy bone. You know what I'm saying? RPOs uh, aren't that crazy. I, I just that just came to my mind because I seen that RPO. I'm still working with some stuff. Um, I've been in bunch. The verticals isn't as crazy. Um, the main crosser it still can get over thirties, of course. Um, match plays it well. It kills man though. Like, it gets crazy separation against man, so keep that in mind. But, yeah, I'm going to be mixing it up. Talking about the gameplay, too, because Doggy Bone was hella pissed. He was in tight Y off, and I had bagged this shit up something crazy, bro. But, um, yeah, so uh, Bunch, the wheel route, which is a W combo, you know what I'm saying, all this year. So, both of them seem like Bunch is still going to be meta. Don't care how y'all feel about it. Bunch will always be metafied, Doggy Bone. It's just... That's just what it is. It's been one of the best formations for over a decade. That's not going to stop no time soon. Same for trips. And I've said this before. Like, a lot of y'all are happy because the defense is more reactive. And I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. A lot of y'all happy that the defense is more reactive because y'all could play stock cover three, not make no adjustments, and then the defense will still play well for you. And y'all feel like that's going to give you an advantage, but it's not. Because if you, if you, someone who struggles to make adjustments, someone who, who's not really accustomed to sending pressure and, and things of that nature, if you can put a stock coverage out there and play defense really well, what the hell you think going to happen when you come up against these good players who has the same defensive reaction but they know how to make adjustments and put a blitz behind it. What do you think is going to happen? They're going to destroy you, bro. They're going to destroy you. So so uh, Madden 23 having really good reactive defenses does not really play in favor of the Bottaviuses, bro. It just don't. You still going to be at a disadvantage, doggy bone. You got to figure that out, man. You bet. You better figure out how to uh, how to send pressure, how to uh, make adjustments, how different zones react, man, to different coverages and how to match different coverages, etc. You best to get to figuring it out, or you gonna be getting whooped again. And in about four months, you gonna be waiting on Madden twenty four. Cause that what it is. If you don't figure it out, you gonna be waiting on Madden twenty four, complaining about Madden twenty three. Even though you thought this one was going to be the best. Another thing, this defense that he is running is still very good. Dollar, 245i, we've uh, discussed in previous videos. Um, one thing that I have noticed, and I'm not even sure 
if they put patch notes out for this nat next man. I just stuff I've noticed since they've um updated it. Uh shares ain't this crazy. I think they tuned down the pass rush a little bit. Cause I was playing today and I had way more time in the pocket. The zones were still reactive and, and, and everything. The defense still played well, but I still had I had more time in the pocket to figure out what was what and how to make a read. You know what I'm saying? So uh Bottavius's. I know that's something that's probably gonna make y'all a little bit upset. What you could do, go check out my dog Golden Meals. You know what I'm saying? Golden Meals gonna be having all the flav out there, and he can get you right. If you're struggling to send a blitz and, and you're struggling to figure out coverage and et cetera and all that, go holler at Goaty. Goaty might be able to do something for you, doggy bone. So, yeah, Goaty Mills on YouTube. Another thing, this is low key been my, that's a dot. This has been my favorite, favorite thing about the beta, bro. Zone match. Oh, zone match option. So, you know where you have, um, where you have zone drops, where you can set your zone drops 25, whatever. Below zone drops, look at his, like, this nigga was, like, sending crazy pressure at me. Right below zone drops, is, it gives you an option. You can either turn on match coverage or you can just leave it default. And, and, and me personally, I really like that option. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, of course, I run, I run match defense now. So I love that option. Of course, excuse me. If you turn, look, I shouldn't even have to say this, but if you put on zone drops, you cancel all match principles, bro. So please don't don't comment yo form. I, I I turned on the match principles thing, but it don't work. I had turned on match principles, and, and then I had put my zone drops at twenty. Nigga, what 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 what, what for is it about the match for? If you didn't told it, hey man, chill, chill, chill there at 20 and don't go nowhere. It ain't finna match nothing for you, doggy bone. Turn the game off. You can't play for a week now. And y'all be asking crazy questions and then get mad when people say you ain't that cold at the game. You can't get mad, bro. If you don't understand basic Madden one-on-one, -on -one, bro. But it's okay. Me and Ted going to get people right this year. Make sure you get the membership. You can join the Discord. We're going to be having lab sessions in the Discord. Uh, lives. Uh, we're going to have tips. Uh, members only live streams. We're going to be doing a lot up in the community, man. So make sure you check out the memberships in the description below so we can get you right on the Bandai, bro. Because a lot of y'all, I don't know what state y'all currently live in. But a lot of y'all finna be moving over there to uh, Struggleville, USA. Population, you and the rest of the Batavius's, who finna, who gonna be mad because you you thought because the defense played good that that was gonna automatically make you better. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the time in on the game, doggy bone. You got to put the love on the line, man. Unk, Unk was, uh, first year playing Madden, was t back in the 12. Yeah, the back in the 12. And I told this story a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was on probation. And my brothers had just bailed me out of jail. And they told me we wasn't, they wasn't bailing me out of jail no more. And they was like, you need to sit your ass still for the rest of your probation. They was like, you need to go buy you an Xbox or something and, and chill in the crib. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. I went and bought an Xbox uh, 360. I bought Madden 12. I bought 2K12. And I bought Call of Duty Black Ops, I think. And I and I finished Madden with a record of 150 and 100. I remember it like it was yesterday. That was the very, that's my very first Madden record. 150 and a hundred and then i'm like nigga i'm lit on the game you know what i'm saying then third and then I, I played a nigga in 13 um it was i can't remember if it was 12 or 13 he 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 was nano with me like crazy it might have been 12. can't remember exactly he 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 was a nanoer so i'm like shit, i gotta figure this out bro i can't be out here getting dog walk and then that's when i came across imath and i came across imath 
I bought his ebook, first ebook I ever bought, Debo Defense. I broke it down I because at the time I was running 4-3-I. And I broke down how he set up his blitzes, how he sent pressure, what he did to his O-line to confuse coverage. I took those principles and then I applied them shits to um to 4-3-I to be able to send uh, edge blitz. I had an A-gap nano. I had dual edge. And then from there, I never needed another ebook. You know what I'm saying? Shout out I man. He get y'all know that my favorite YouTuber, Doggy Bone, gave me the blueprint. And then I ran with them shits. And that's what some of y'all uh might have to do, bro. Y'all might have to break down some principalities of this boy. So so you won't be getting dog walked out here in the community. Cause we Damn. We two weeks away. From the Madon 20, two months, I'm sorry. Still got two months of Madden left, man. Huh? But yeah, we two months away from the Madon, bro. And and I have no clue what the hell we gonna do for the last two. I'm so I'm trying to figure out content, so many other things, bro. Golly, man. But yeah, so we touched up on um the new wheel route. We've touched up on zone defenses. Uh, we've touched up on Matt, the little match thing. Um, I'm going to be doing a wide receiver video soon. I just haven't played with enough wide outs. But until the end, Doggy Bone, I'm finna. This is the part where I take off on Dog and piss him off. So, Madden, Madden, Madden class is in session. So, I'm sending seven, bro. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm sending seven. And then I'm putting way too much pressure on my user, but I'm mixing in coverage when I need to. I'm trying to force him to make a mistake to keep it a buck. I know he wants that corner route or he wants the deep bomb out of Y off. He hits the check down multiple times. You'll see me man up the check down because he's taking it too many times. Now, nah, dog, I'm, he's becoming dependent on it. He throws it. Sean T don't react that time. And I'm like, all right, cool. Pill. This nigga do parry thing, break 90 tackles. With. I'm like, I'm cool with that. That's not going to sustain him. That's not. So right there, I double Mabel that side, and then I go play the corner route. He does a really good job of checking down uh, in the middle of the field. So what I, what I should have done is outside quarter with the double Mabel. So right here, you'll see me out flat zone both sides, gap shoot to pick up parry. But not only do I have responsibility of the gap shoot, I got responsibility of the middle wheel route side. And then if he rolls out, my job is to stay middle and make sure he don't cross body me. Pressure comes, bait him up crazy, and we get the picky D. Of course, this nigga gets an amazing diving animation and he ends up tackling me, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was like, he the pressure had him uh, a little shook. You know what I'm saying? He was seeing the pressure too much. So I knew if I took away the flat routes and forced him to, like, hold that ball for a little bit longer, I'd be able to bait him something across the field. So now at this point for me, I'm like, all right, man, let me just go down here and get three or seven and I can close this game out. Because to have seven points and, and, and toward the end of the quarter in Madden 23, you in trouble. Right here, I know it's covered too. Um... He gets an insta shed, which I can't do really much about. I got the touchdown. But what I should have done, which probably still wouldn't have worked, if I would have climbed the pocket instead of keeping dropping back, you know what I'm saying? But he shed it up the middle. So it was like I was kind of limited in what I could do right there. Right here again, you'll see he gets another insta shed on the left side. I got two secure protectors, so that I ain't going to lie. I was tight that these niggas kept uh, disengaging from the blocks. But I'm like, it is what it is, bro. I'm playing amazing defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for it. If he, if, he, if he stopped me, I'm right back to where I was before. He gets another disengage. I throw it up. He makes a really stupid decision and picks off the bat ball. You know what? Keep it a B. I'm not even going to say that's a stupid decision, Doggy Bone. Because I be scared. I'm a SWAT. And then something crazy going to be happening. So he just went and got the certified turnover right there. But I'm like, cool. And I ain't tripping too much. This is where I know I won the game. He comes out and split twin. And I'm like, I know he not. This ain't his main offense. This ain't even top three. 
I just got him in something completely different because he feels crazy bagged in his other offense. So I'm, I already know. All I'm looking for is the running back route from Perry out the backfield. And you'll see me. So I hop on that immediately, follow that. He throws a book in coverage, pick ED. No wheel route. Sean Taylor matches on to the other side uh, running back who uh, comes down to the flats. We bag him. He throws a, uh, well, he, I guess when it was a one-play tug. And then we pick him off. If, if you can get somebody to go into an offense that they probably ain't that familiar with, but it's a little bit cliche, he knows that running back we, uh, running back corner route, which I have not seen in 23, is really good. So he just hoping he can get that. But you, I didn't play a, a lot of little mad now here. So I know when I see split twins, I think it's gun doubles offset. Um, it was the RPO glitch was in this formation, uh, and I had the RPO uh, offense in this at Man 21. Shotgun wing weak or I can't something like that has that same route in it. Um, it's a, as we ugh, dot him in the seams right there. It was a it was a it was a spread formation that had it. A shotgun spread that had that running back wheel route too. So certain formations, when I see him, I'm already on alert for the running back wheel because I know it's coming. It's just a matter of time type joint. So I'm never really tripping because I played enough Madden where, you know what I'm saying, you recognize what's coming based off certain formations. All right, so coming back out, you can see now he's coming back in tight y all. I already know you're not comfortable in tight y all. You know what I'm saying? So he comes out down 21-7, runs the ball, which is like, all right, cool. You, you want to make sure you don't become too one-sided. But I know you're not comfortable in this offense. You know what I'm saying? You don't think you can move the ball like that. And Taiwa off is really, really good this year. Right there, we end up getting the gap shoot because we press in the hole with our user, and he shoots in for the gap shoot again. I'm sending seven. I'm just going to – I'm sending pressure now. I'm sending pressure and I'm using like a madman. Take your check downs all you want. So right here, I see him clicking on. I'm like, if he motions, I'm going outside quarter on the left side. All right, so for you guys, uh, if you notice when I outside quarter on the left side, excuse me, what, what, uh, what Haynes is going to do, he's going to match now. It's solo that side, right? He's going to match and follow him wherever he goes. My responsibility now is the middle and any crosser coming from right to left because he's going to be playing essentially like he in man. So that his whole middle to the left side of the field is going to be wide open. If one, if pressure don't get there or I get a little too bit wreck, too, too much reckless. What? Too much reckless? If I get a little too, why the did I say too much reckless? If I get a little too reckless in uh with my user, then I'm I'm blue. I said that. Then I'll end up getting bombed. What you've seen happen before? I get a little extra trying to bait something. But yeah, you. That's why he stands on top over on top of him instead of being in the third. He comes directly on top of him like an outside quarter does. If you see somebody uh cornerback switch just like that, just know he just outside quartered you right there. And then he actually runs the ball, which I'm like, okay, that was weird. Why would you motion over right and then just run the ball? So I'm like, if he give me that same adjustment, then I'm going to do that again. Uh, boom, we send the pressure. He tries to roll out with the pressure, takes the sack. You don't have escape artist, doggy bone. Now that it's fourth and 24, I'm doing the same exact. This time I am going outside quarter. My job is eight uh, Andre Johnson. Boom. And we get the bag right there. If you guys want me to uh, just break it down a little bit more for y'all, um, I'll tell you what the adjustment is right here. Okay, so two uh, our outside quarter to match a uh, twelve. Um, I have a third on the uh, right side of the field. He's not gonna match. He's actually gonna play in the third. The seam flat is going to match uh, the tight end. See, if you play a match coverage, the seam flat will match the tight end. So he's going to take away the seam streak. And then if somebody like runs like a corner or something, which nobody's going to run a corner in this formation because you see there's nobody else over there. Then he'll drop over to the, um, to the flat. 
But if you have a tight end or a slot guy, seam flat will always match that if you play in match coverage. So my job is literally Andre Johnson. It's fourth and twenty-one. I mean, it's fourth and twenty-four. If he want to throw a running back wheel or a flat route, he's more than welcome to. But I'm sending a crib right here. So my only responsibility is him. When I hike the ball, he blocks Perry. Cool. I'm still coming in free off the left side. Notice he's matched on the left. My seam flat has matched the tight end. My only responsibility is doggy bone running up the middle. Boom. He throw the book and we take it. You know what I'm saying? 21 to 7, two minutes left. I thought dog was gonna quit, but he did. And then, you know what I'm saying? We gonna go. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm sending pressure right here. So, and then, you know what I'm saying? Now I got uh, Omaha game really over Doggy Bone not getting no stops. But I'm gonna play real conservative too. So boom, right here, I run it on first down. I'm not. I'm not like. I, I'm not really gonna chew clock like that because I don't really care that much, bro. I want to say right now I'm on like a 14 or 15 game win streak. All I really need to do is get three right now. If I get like the game is over with, he can't really score on me. Like he he living in Struggleville crazy right now. Right now I block seven and then because I'm like he might send pressure. I'm not tripping about anything, bro. Lamar breaks the sackle. Sackle. Wow. What is a sackle? Low key, that was a sackle, though. It was a tackle and a sack. That was low key a sackle. W lingo. So, third and four right here. I'm like, I'm still not finna force nothing. I'm gonna look for the dot, but I'm still not gonna force it. I block seven again. I'm thinking about if I wanna keep these adjustments. Because I, I can see what he's in. So I go corner route because I see that's a soft squat. But I should what I should have done, because he I actually had the touchdown uh, and the corner route, to hold that soft squat, I should have put a fade route. I mean, um, a flat route. If I put a flat route, it'll hold that soft squat long enough, and I can actually throw that corner route a little bit earlier instead of, instead of having to wait for it to clear. But it ended up matching the corner, uh, the post route that I had on the field too, and that deep half wasn't gonna play the corner. So, but pressure ended up getting there. I wasn't able to get it off, even though I blocked seven. Okay, dog. So right here, now he in another offense that I know he not comfortable with. He just tried, like he's trying to just spread spread the defense out. I guess make it simpler to like make his reads. But I ain't tripping about none of this. I know for sure you ain't you gonna be running squats quads like that because if you were super comfortable in it you would have been went to it so i'm a, i'm sticking with it bro um i don't know i don't know but um i'm gonna put a hook curl on the field right now i'm playing coverage because he went to trade you know what i'm saying i'm not really gonna tell y'all what i'm doing right here that was really good defense but sean bumped into haynes right there uh y'all will find out man when, when y'all grab that membership shut your mouth so, uh, right now, I'm just playing heavy coverage against Trey. I'm going to force Doggy Bone. Go ahead and make some, some toughest reads and find the open man. Right there, I don't like Mike Evans, bro. I, I don't like him. He get cheated right there because he actually had the bomb. Because I have no clue what the hell Mike Evans was doing. I don't know what Doggy Bone was staring at. But this is an angry blitz. This is, I just, I'm pissed off, Mike. You just played like that. So I'm not finna give you time to do that again. That's what that blitz was. Uh, Mike's, Mike was actually gonna end up getting bombed again. Right here I get stuck on Chin. This time he plays it correctly. That time Mike actually dropped back in coverage. Stupid little dude. And it ain't no more safeties coming out that I could like get rid of him and put somebody else on the field. Right here, we play good defense again. Mike Evans drops the pick. I don't have pick artists on him. I just got a uh, deep zone, deep zone KO and uh, acro on him. And I don't, I don't like deep zone KO, bro. I don't feel like it'd be working. Right there, I had the gap shoot, 
Well, we just ran into our dude right there. Like, just... Uh, it make a miss sad, man. It make a miss sad. But, yeah, so here we go again. The game is over with, bro. I, I, I just wanted Dolph to quit. But for whatever reason, nigga want to have heart. You know what I'm saying? It's June, bro. The time for heart is gone. And he had the nerve to message me. I can show y'all what he messaged me now. He said, he had said it to me. Um, now, we played back in November, and I won. I, you know what I'm saying? I actually, I think I posted this game on the channel. I'm not sure. But he said, Summer Pro, you suck. I would dog you in my other offense. No, you wouldn't. I said, you lost to me in November. That wasn't the summer, doggy bone. That It was cold outside. So, of course, he said the same thing everybody say when they lose. Money game. Like, he don't know. But, nigga, I don't gamble. I, I definitely don't gamble on the internet with Madden. That's just crazy. So, I told him, just hold the air, bro. Like, you messaging me because you lost in, in June is crazy. And you calling me a summer pro. You can get some, you can get some of these, though. These these ain't summer. These all season, doggy bone. But I ain't going to get to the violence, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't even going to begin to that. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and I'll get at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.